The Batson Hyde Energy Centre ensures reliable waste disposal in the region. After 35 years of operation, the boiler and combustion system on the line must be replaced. During erection of heavy equipment, a total of approximately 350 tonnes of custom-made components must be lifted into the existing building within the shortest time possible. Mistakes would have serious consequences. Martin submitted the winning bid. Our customer wants a short downtime for replacing Line 3, so the new line must be designed, made and installed very quickly. A an enormous challenge. For the erection of heavy equipment, Martin decided to use one of Europe's most modern and in particular largest cranes. 30 trucks are required for transporting the crane. The basic structure can be erected during the day. ZAB's operating activities are affected to a limited extent only. The crane model used is the Leaper LR11000, which can lift up to 1,000 tons and features a hitherto unique structure and equipment. Erection starts from the bottom up. The feeder and discharger are lifted in first, followed by boiler parts that can no longer be lifted in once the large parts have been mounted. The combustion grate is pre-assembled on site. To accurately lift in the grate, it must be inclined by 26 degrees by adjusting the ropes accordingly. This, however, is not just any combustion grate. It's the 1,000th grate supplied with Martin technology. Boiler sections are delivered by a total of four low-bed trailers. The components were made in Poland and Croatia, and delivery took about one week. The longest trailer train measures 43 meters. The trailer alone has 11 axles, so that it can transport the payload of 95 tons. Such special heavy load vehicles must be escorted by the police and travel at night only. A project of this kind requires months of meticulous planning and coordination. Here in the vicinity of the plant, the trucks must be lined up in a predefined order. Now the crawler crane comes into its own. The four boiler sections are lifted in. An additional crane, referred to as a tracking crane, is required for unloading the boiler sections from the trucks, bringing the sections into a vertical position and safely attaching them to the crawler crane. At first, both cranes lift the boiler section in a horizontal position from the truck's low bed trailer. The crawler crane accepts more and more of the load and the boiler section is brought into an upright position. Once the section is in a fully upright position, the tracking crane is detached and the crawler crane slews the load 180 degrees towards the boiler house. The crawler crane moves closer to the building together with its load as it does so. The 
boiler section is then slowly and carefully lowered into the boiler house. In the existing steel structure, there's only a few centimeters of free space on either side, so utmost precision and close cooperation between the crane operator and Martin's erection supervisor are required. One after the other, the boiler sections are provisionally positioned on the boiler bearings. After the four boiler sections have been lifted in, they are moved to their final positions and accurately aligned by means of chain hoists. The boiler sections are secured in their respective end positions. This concludes erection of heavy equipment. Erection was completed within a few days only and without impairing operation of the existing plant. We worked well despite the pressure and are very satisfied. Thanks to a very good team and reliable partners. Installation of the boiler stations has been completed. It will take approximately another 10 months until first firing in the new Line 3. Another milestone during boiler erection is the pressure test after precision assembly of the boiler has been completed. The test assesses whether the entire boiler system is free of leaks. The boiler is approved for operation by the acceptance procedure of the Swiss Safety Center. Now the time has come. After the entire installation of the great boiler and flue gas cleaning system has been completed, the new Line 3 can be put into operation. We are delighted to ignite the waste using a torch and thus start up Line 3. It's an important day for the Batzenheide Energy Center, ZAB's thermal plant and Martin. First firing occurs and symbolizes the beginning of warm startup. We are very proud that thanks to our staff members and project partners, we have accomplished this project on schedule despite the space restrictions and while operation of the other lines continued. Moreover, we also stuck to the specified budget. The new Line 3 puts us in a position to treat the amount of waste we receive even more efficiently and reliably, and is an important foothold for the region's supply with energy.